بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh to everyone and for today and again I hope that you had a wonderful Ramadan and Eid Mubarak for uh, once again for everyone uh, I know it's been a while so well, it's been like eight nine days whatever <laughs> So I, I will be reacting to this video today um, by this wonderful person right here, inshallah, a subscriber, inshallah, mashallah. So mashallah, 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 I'm feeling so much better, you guys. Um, just wanted to let you know. It's only been for like the past two, three days, but it's, it's a good thing, right? So I am here for you guys, and I'm never going to forget you guys. Okay, here we go. So this is What is Death? Powerful Speech, Sheikh Ahmed uh, Suleiman Katani by the merciful, none other than the merciful servant. You, who you guys like so much. Okay, so let's go. From water, Allah brought this insan into existence. And then after living, suddenly moth comes upon him. What is moth? What is death? They also science has tried to answer. 200 different theories they have as to what is death. Death is this, death is this, death is this, death is this. And all 200 are wrong. What Quran has said is the reality. Allahu yatawaffal anfusaheena mawtiha. When Allah takes the ruh of this person away, that is the time his death occurs. Ali radiallahu ta'ala who said, Al-mawt, laysa minhul fawt. Death, you cannot escape it. In aqamtum lahu akhadakum. If you will oppose it, it will overpower you. Wa in farartum minhu adrakakum. And if you run away from it, it will find you. Aynama takunu yudrikkum al mawtu wa law kuntum fi burujim mushayyada. Run, run wherever you want. But on its appointed time, that death will find you, even if you're in a fortified fortress. لو كانت الدنيا تدوم لأهلها لكان رسول الله فيها مخلد. If this world was going to allow anyone to live forever, then Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم would not have drunk from the cup of death. كل نفس ذائقة الموت. Every نفس will taste death. If you want to know the reality of this life, then go into the قبرستان. Go and look at those desolate graves. Go and see who is buried there. The same politician and the same governor and the same minister and the same ruler who when he used to walk, people would say, move out of his way, move out of his way. Somebody great has come. When he would move, he would move in a cavalcade of limousines. What is his situation today? His body has become the food of insects. And those insects have been eaten by other insects. Understand the reality of this life. That moth is coming. That death is coming every day that Qabr is calling out. Anabaytul Dood, Anabaytul Dhulma, Anabaytul Wahda, Anabaytul Wahsha. I am the home of insects. I am the home of loneliness. I am the home of worms. I am the home of darkness. Prepare yourself before you come to me. Prepare yourself before you come to me. Every one of us will have to give account in the court of Allah. How much longer are we going to revel in this worldly life? Does insan think that it is just this life and it ends here? No. Ya ayyuhan nas, inna wa'adallahi haq, fala taghurrannakum alhayatul dunya, wala yaghurrannakum billahi alghurur. O people, the promise of Allah is haq. What promise? What promise? Minha khalaqnakum, wa fiha nu'idukum, wa minha nukhrijukum taratan ukhra. From dust you were created, till dust you will be returned, and once again we will resurrect you. Oath upon oath, Quran takes, Qul ee wa rabbi innahu lahaq. La tub'athun, you will be raised up, and you will have to give account in the court of Allah. How much more musti are you going to make on this earth? How much more are you going to continue to defy the Quran of your Allah? How many more Azans are going to fall on deaf ears? How many more Ramadans do you have guarantee you are going to live for? How many more Laylatul Qadrs are you going to be able to search for? That once the Hilal of Eid is sighted, you return back to where you were before. That when that Mubarak come, month comes, then you cover up those shaitan boxes. And then you take those DVD plays and those MP3 plays and put them away. And once the Hilal of Eid is sighted, once again it is back to that same cycle. 
Where are you going to find peace? Where are you going to find solace? This humanity, my respected brothers, is in a loss. People are looking for peace. The heart is restless. That heart which has not recognized Allah. That heart which is not breathing with the love of Allah. That heart which is not beating with the love of Allah. That heart which doesn't know ta'aluk with Allah. That heart is a restless heart. This whole humanity is bechen. They are searching for peace. Searching for peace in women, in zina. In the scenery of this world. In the ringing of coins. In music. Where are our youth? Where are our youth? What they say, music is food for the soul. The voice of shaitan, which Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, and what he said was haq, will cause hypocrisy and nifaq to grow in your heart like how water will cause a plant to grow. So that when the time of your moth comes according to some ulama, you will not be able to recite kalima. Uh, so he's not referencing anything that's specifically saying that uh, all forms of sounds that deviate from uh, you know recitation are haram he has no direct reference I have looked into this because he said, you guys don't know something you guys don't know about me is I absolutely love music and I had to look into this for obvious reasons when for I've been like back into Islam for like, the past year or year and a half now and um yeah i never found anything to, I, I i had an argument with a muslim actually about it they gave me a lot of references but the, you know i didn't read i confess i didn't read through all of them because i don't know if these hard authentic were even authentic right and it was a comment it was months ago um <laughs> several several months sorry about a year ago now uh, like I said, I, I calmed down and I, and I like, looked through it and then I did my own independent research and, uh, well, <laughs> you know, I just think it's important that we look at what could really be haram and what couldn't be. So I, I'm willing to believe it's potentially a sin, but mainly because, again, there's no reference, no direct reference. Like, if anything, there's a hadith that, and if I can find the video, I'll show you. There's a hadith that is allegedly authenticated. And, um, oh, uh, uh, what's his name? D Dr. Zakir Naik. So, Dr. Zakir Naik, he mentioned, I'll try to find a clip, where he says that there was, like, a moment where these kids were, I think they were, like, maybe teenagers or something. Anyway, anyway, they were, whatever, you know, they were celebrating, they, they had, like, these tambourines, right? They make noise, okay? It's not inherently bad. What I was going Many Muslims consider music to be allowed. Could you just confirm did the prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam speak against music there is a great difference of opinion as far as the muslims are concerned whether music is allowed or not whether it's permitted or not but there is no verse in the quran directly prohibiting music but there are indications allah says in the quran in surah luqman chapter number 31 verse number 6 it says that among them, there are those people who purchase idle tales without knowledge and without meaning, and they mislead the people away from the path of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. There will be no doubt whether it's permitted or prohibited. Our beloved Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu said, it's mentioned in Sahih Bukhari, volume number 7, hadith number 5590. The beloved Prophet said that from among my followers, there will be some people who will make illicit sex, that is, adultery and fornication, as well as wearing of silk, drinking intoxicants, and using musical instruments as legal. There will be among my people who will make some things which are illegal, that is, adultery, fornication, wearing of silk, having intoxicants, and the playing of musical instruments, as legal. But there are other Sahih Hadith which do permit some musical instruments, especially the duff, that is the tambourine. If you read the Hadith of a beloved Prophet Muhammad of Sahih Bukhari, volume number 5, Hadith number 4001, where it is said that Muhammad after consummating his marriage, he came and he sat outside 
along with one of the sabas when two crazy. small girls were playing the tambourine that is a duff and they were praising that saba his father how he died in jihad and when they started praising the prophet they said don't praise me you can say what you are saying earlier indicating that the prophet did not prohibit them from playing the tambourine furthermore there is a hadith in sahih bukhari volume number 2 hadith number 987 where the prophet while he was lying down is hadith narrated by hazrat naisha may Allah be with her she says that two small girls were playing the tambourine and they were singing when hazrat abu bakr may Allah be pleased with him the father of hazrat aisha may Allah be pleased with her he comes then he says to them let's stop it no one sallallahu alaihi wasallam sleeping on a cot he tells to hazrat abu bakr may Allah be pleased with him that let them do it these are the days of eid let them do it furthermore there's a hadith let them do it furthermore there's a hadith in tirmizi hadith number 3690 where a beloved prophet musa sallam he says that there was a person who approaches the prophet and tells him that i had vowed to allah subhanahu wa taala that if you come back victoriously i will sing and i will play the duff i will bang the tambourine so the prophet said if you have vowed then do it if you have not vowed then don't do it so these hadith do indicate that musical instrument per se is haram except for the duff that the tambourine the prophet did permit it sometimes okay zakia yeah. Thank you very much for that answer. That fine. Uh, what I was going to say was I think what is inherently bad potentially is like having earbuds in for too long. You don't know what the radiation from like, you know, the sound waves coming from like I don't know the, the satellites that, you know, ping off of the Bluetooth like that could be like maybe cause cancer or something crazy like that, right? Like I admit that, you know, maybe there's like aspects of it that are haram, but I don't believe that the sound is haram. I don't believe that the effect it can have on you is always haram. I think it can be. I think the music industry, let me get something really clear for you. I think the music industry is terrible. I could go on about this forever because I love music so much. So obviously I'm going to I'm going to be a little biased. Like I'm not going to lie to you guys. I'm going to be a biased, you know. I, I don't want to fake. I, w- I don't want to pretend like yeah. So like I said, um please don't comment anything about it because I I I swear I've already like racked my brain like <laughs> I just I don't. Like I'll listen to you guys. I'm not going to delete it. I'm just saying like I I can't like <laughs> um because what I believe personally is what I just said right so and then based on the evidence I've I've received it's not very good because again it's kids you know temporary they're celebrating something I think it re- was related to a lot um I think it was related to God so also you know and then I remember like I think a companion of Muhammad peace be upon him was like no Muhammad peace be upon him was like no 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 like leave them alone just leave them alone yeah like Cause I wanted to tell you guys this for so long. <laughs> I, just, I don't know. I'm really passionate about this part. So and he's just like, let, let them just, you know, they're just celebrating. It's not gonna last. It's fine. They're just, they're young. They're having fun, and it's not like a really bad form of fun. So I took that as gospel, obviously, because I'm like, <laughs> that's how I feel about music, right? And I'm not saying that it's like 100% not a sin. or even makrul, if you know what that is, right? Which is like in between, right? Or you don't really know. Um, or it's not that bad, I guess. Like God doesn't like it, but he doesn't hate it either, right? But he also said don't do things that don't benefit nor uh help you. So, anyways, anyways, you guys, I just I don't know. That's a really touchy subject for me. For me, it's like religion in general is a touchy subject, right? For me, this is like music is like even more touchy than like anything because like it's helped me through so much depression and you know whatever. So, I personally and and then I oh 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 oh. I don't think I ever I forgot to tell you guys I had a song like before I even touched the Quran. Um like I said I have a story behind why I never read it anyways but I was always Muslim I swear like you know um by ear by you know parents okay it, mom okay anyways you guys so <laughs> the thing is like you know I I knew how to pray or I thought I did I just didn't know I would only recite like the last part so I'll tell anyway that's not about this that is not about my past it's really about the fact that when I was going through a rough time and I was trying to ask God in my my own way right my own fitra intuitive way i was trying to ask god like okay i need a sign like i need a sign and yeah he can probably use something not so great as a sign that's true but i just like to reference it anyways that he used a song as a sign for me and i will talk about the song uh, okay i mean i don't really want to make this video too long i'm trying to remember okay i'll just remember i'll just uh show you guys um see i don't want to be demonetized
I don't want to be copyrighted is what I should have said. I'm not making any money. I'm not trying to make any money. Anyway, I don't want to be copyrighted, so I'm not going to put it on this. I mean, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to put it in the video. But basically, there's a lyric. All of it is like, like was really helpful for me. And, you know, I it aligned it to what I re later read in the Quran. So there's a line where it says, I tried to give you everything, but perhaps maybe everything is not right for you. And then there's a line in the Quran which says, which says, I would have guided all of mankind. And then there's another one where he's referencing mankind and he's like, um, you're capable of reasoning. You know, I, you know, um, this is still the truth. This is like a gift, you know, essentially a structural If I get anything wrong here, please forgive me, Lord. But yeah. So, and then it's like very direct and it's, it, it, it you know, live forever in me, branch to a tree, you know, then the low tree. I mean, it's just, I just, I don't want to go into it right now, you guys, but I'm just saying it, it, it really seems to really align with God's principles. And it really helped me at the time that I needed. And I never even touched the Quran at the time. So I would, I would later make references and know that that was probably a sign from Allah. And it, that's why it made me feel better. Right? That's why it made me feel, okay. So <laughs> I'm just saying, and I know like there's going to be some people who are like, yeah, Okay, but I'm just saying there's no substantial evidence to say it's 110 billion percent off limits. And if it is a sin, it's probably not the worst one you could do. And I'm not encouraging it nor denying it. I'm just saying. Okay, I'm going to shut up now. <laughs> that haram, not only are you doing, you bring your children onto it also. Stay away from this and what will Allah give you? إن الله تعالى لا يوحي إلى شجرة الجنة أن اسمعي عبادي الذين شغلوا أنفسهم بذك عن المعازف والقينات بذكري فتسمعهم بأصوات ما سمع الإنس والجن مثلها وقال صلى الله عليه وسلم أيضا ما من عبد يدخل الجنة إلا ويجلس عند رأسه وعند رجليه ثنتين من الحور العين تغنيانه بأحسن صوت سمعه الإنس والجن أو كما قال صلى الله عليه وسلم Janab Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi said, That Ummati of mine, who when the music blares will cover up his ears, will not listen to the haram music of this world. In Jannat, Allah will command two hoors to sit at his head, two hoors will sit at his feet. The trees of Jannat, the leaves of Jannat will be commanded. Now play music. Play music. These women whose voices are such that if a dead man had to hear her, hear her he would come to life. If a living person had to hear her, his liver would split as a result of joy. If she had to spit, the waters of the oceans of the world will become sweet. She will start singing, and the trees will start singing, and the birds will start singing. Such a beautiful and a melodious orchestra will occur in Jannat for this Jannati that no insan or jinnat has heard the like of it. Come unto the obedience of your Allah. How long are you going to continue running away from your Allah? How long are you going to continue to make war with your Allah? They are searching for that inner peace. Searching in music, searching in haram, searching in riba, searching in the scenery and attractions of this world, searching in sharab, searching in the dens of vice, searching in gambling. They will never find it there. Bring one person, bring one person who is in masyid, who in the dead of the night breaks the command of Allah and his heart is at ease. Okay, so I do just want to I do just want to point something out to you guys. Like I acknowledge that again. I don't know if he's referencing something that was directly in the Quran because I haven't heard that in the Quran what he just mentioned. But I will say this. I will say if I'm wrong, please, please put the reference. I'm sorry if I am wrong, but I I mean I read the Quran multiple times. You know, like so. Um. Okay, maybe it's in there and I missed it. Um. But I will say this, you guys. I don't think it is. But um. Yeah. No. Uh, what I will say is that I notice I never put music like I get all like huh. <laughs> I get all like oh, boo hoo. But yeah, I never put music in my videos. Like you guys know that. You know, you know. I have to still encourage what might be better. I have to do that as a Muslim. You know, I am fully aware. I'm not stupid. You know, I love you guys. I appreciate you guys. Any advice is very, very appreciated. Any words from Allah, like directly, like I really appreciate. It. If you can find it. Great, it's fine. Go ahead and let me know. Um, you can tell I'm like really, really, really upset right now, but it's okay, and I don't mind. Um, because I still don't know for sure if it's a sense. I don't mind talking about it. 
But it's just like one of those things. Like again, I, I'm just careful with it. Like I just don't have any like actual music. Like I have like maybe a little bit of instrumental like that you get. It's like digital. It's not even like it's you can't hear it. It's like behind the beginning of my intro. You can't really hear it. Other than that, like there's no actual music. There's there's nothing. It's not even voices. I know that voices and what he was just referencing. You know, like voices are so beautiful. Like so obviously, like voices are going to be like what you. You know, what God might associate with, like, our being. Because it's a natural part of us is our voice. And, you know, I, I sing myself. You know, so what he's saying is, like, there's allegedly music in Jannah. Which I know that it probably is. Because I think it's an authenticated hadith that said that your wife is, is going to sing to you in Jannah. You know, so I understand it's a thing. You know, like, our voice is more powerful and important than, you know, instruments. And instruments can cause haram. You know, like, the, the band Kiss, you know. Look at them. I mean... <laughs> You know, they probably do have actual demonic lyrics, actual demonic, um, maybe even possessions and influences within their own band and music and instruments and way of thinking and way of being and way of, um, you know, uh, singing. So if that's what I consider haram personally, but okay, and if this is a direct reference to something authenticated, then I will listen to it and I have no choice but to listen to it, right? I, I acknowledge that. I just want to let you guys know, okay, I'm gonna, you know, this is a really touchy topic for me, but okay, I just wanted to be real and real, like, realistic with you guys, okay. Bring one person who is revelling in haram and can claim that he has peace of the heart. Wallah! You will not find one person Trust the service of the earth. Go to those millionaires who have earned their millions in haram and see if their heart is at ease. You will not find a single person. Because if you find one person who in masyid, who in haram, has peace of heart and peace of mind, then my respected brothers, the kitab of my Allah will be wrong. And wallah, my Allah's kitab is not wrong. Allah! Allah! Allah calls out. Listen, O oh people of Masti. Oh, people who have arrogance over their wealth. Oh, people who are hankering after this world. Oh, people who are destroying the akhirat of their children by making them like the Yahud and the Nasara. Oh, the people who are following the fashion of the West. Allah, listen. Allah, hearken. Put up your ears. Bi dhikrillahi tatma'innul qulub. Only in the dhikr of my Allah. Only in the obedience of my Allah. Only in falling down before Allah. Only in running back to Allah. Fafirru ilallah. Fafirru ilallah. Fafirru ilallah. Come back to your Allah. In that taluk, in that association, in that link, in that nisbat, tatma'innul qulub, you will only find peace there. You will never find it anywhere else. Basically, I do believe what he's saying is true. Uh, but like I said, I'm going to have to research that. <laughs> I sound like a, like a Christian who doesn't know anything, right? You know, oh, I'm going to have to research that. Sorry. Like, <laughs> no, but seriously, you guys, like I do uh, need to do more. But, you know, that's why I was like, oh, I don't want to talk about it. Like, no, I didn't know this was in this particular video. But I guess this is just got like, you got to talk about it. Okay, I guess I had to talk about it. <laughs> like, I really didn't want to. I am I quite attached. But I'm not obsessed. Like, I was obsessed. It was helping my depression. It was, you know, all these things. I thought maybe it was doing. Um, But uh, I've actually since cut down a lot, in my opinion. Uh, in my opinion, I don't know. Allahu alam, right? But I, you know, I've cut down a lot. I mostly watch dollar videos. Like, let's be honest. Like, let's be real. It was like, I made a video, you know, truth about dollar travels all Because I watch, like, every Muslim known to man. Um, as much as possible. I haven't well, recently, because like I said, I've been going through things. I met someone who God put in my life to test me with. So that's really, really, really been weighing really heavily on me. Like, it kind of saved my life in a way, but it also has made me like a more like confused like oh my gosh how do i win this test kind of person and it's a direct direct obvious sign from a law for me but i'm still not sure what to do with it and it's scary but i swear you guys like i'm fine or whatever but i just like i know i've not been like telling you like the details of like what's been going on so i still don't really want to because it's you know whatever but I will later, like, whatever happens. You know, I'm going to update you if you care. And for those of you who don't care, I understand. Like, I do want to almost, like, mostly just talk about what God says we're supposed to be doing down here, right? That's obviously my whole goal. And obviously to eventually, inshallah, inshallah, have a non-profit organization 
you know, oh, I just give back to the world and maybe, you know, spread the message of Islam. And obviously that's like a huge goal of mine, but we'll see what happens. And again, and for now, I'm not going to leave you guys. Let me know anything and any information you have down below. And I really do appreciate every single one of you. As you can tell, I'm actually in a good mood for once. So I wanted to give this good energy to you guys, inshallah. So with that being said, um, also I'm like, I'm going to tell you, but to everyone. And if it rhymes much true, love you. Okay, obviously that's just my little catchphrase. It's not actually like, you know, like true or anything like that. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Washamsi wa duhaha. Walqamari idha talaha.